Today on Logan Lee Adventures, I continue my solo adventures in Bali, Indonesia. Along the way, I meet some really cool people from different parts of the world, and our travels interwine, much like Ash Ketchum during his. To start the day, I'm at a holy spring temple where I get wrapped up in a sarong. A sarong is a large length of fabric, as you can see, often wrapped and worn around the waist in a lot of South and Southeast Asian countries. So the sarong is what you would wear to go into the holy water and it's just this has a representation of the holiness. So my swim shorts are right under here uh, and then we're going to go get cleansed and get purified and let's see how that's going to feel. But it's really nice, it's this beautiful silky green color and this red ribbon around it too. Alright guys, I am going to get cleansed. <laughs> <laughs> So it's so cool here. Um, now there's you can see like the locals getting fun as well. And it's just very relaxing. And the water is quite You can see tapping in the water as well as like the sheets in the water. But the sarong feels very light. It just kind of feels like it flows with you. <laughs> Sirta and Pool, meaning Holy Water Spring, is actually the name of a water source located within this temple. It was discovered in 962 AD and believed to have magical powers. The Holy Springs here bubble up into a large crystal clear pool within the temple and gush out throughout the water sprouts into a bathing pool. Since it's holy, people come here to bathe in the same sarong that I'm wearing, not just any regular clothes. That was a, I highly recommend that experience. It just felt, it, it, it was very, I guess the definition of peer, or this word that I really love that I learned in philosophy class called tabula rasa, which means clean slate. And I, yeah, just gonna take that all in now. There's really no other words right now, but just what a really, Cool, just, yeah, there's no words, just what an experience. I made some new British friends while we were getting our cleansing on in the holy spring water and decided to continue our adventure all together. It brought us to this coffee plantation and tea heaven. This is the cloves, that one the cloves. Some kind of uh, like, uh, what do you call Pepper, yeah, some kind. Mm. <laughs> So this we have cocoa bean. This material for making cacao powder. But this one is not ready roasted, just finished dry. So this we have also Bali coffee. This one is regular coffee Arabica. In Bali we have two type of coffee. We have male and female coffee. They come in one tree, only different bean, yeah? You have to sip it like this to get very fine powder. Ginger tea good for stomach, red rice tea good for bones, lemongrass tea good for skin, pure Bali coffee without sugar, mango steam tea good for anti cancer, and saffron tea is. Wakes you up. <laughs> <laughs> nice though, though you feel like feeling your throat and nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
recording. <laughs> we have this plate that we all that we have, and just all the different selections of this Indonesian food. I have no clue what each one of it is, but I'm gonna dig in because it looks so tasty. <laughs> I get this wrong. Hello, <laughs> Tactica. Salam, Hukri. Explore. I got my scooter, uh, my motorbike again, and I'm driving around. But today the weather was not like the past few days, and it's actually a little drizzly, which is fine. But as I was driving, the rain got I went further into the heart of the rain, and the rain got more intense, so I can barely see sometimes. So I decided to just drop off at this. Uh, hole-in-the-wall restaurant and figured okay well might as well grab something to eat all right so I was driving my motorbike and then to this village this local Balinese village but on the way uh, I this whole passage that I'm driving through is a bamboo forest it's quite beautiful so I decided to you know, I want to show you guys this Penke Lepura village is one of the traditional Balinese villages that still retains the layout of traditional Balinese architecture. Look at it! However, things that distinguish the uniqueness of the Penlingurian village compared to other traditional villages in Bali is the uniformity of the houses that look almost identical. Also, the rural roads that connect to each of the houses are uniquely styled with stones. So I finally made it to the Besaki temple and it's the oldest temple in Bali or in Indonesia and also it took a while to get here because of the rain but I finally motored bike all the way here from the other village. I got a little cute flower in my hair. So what's happening here today is going to, there's a ceremony happening today so we get to participate in that and I'm going to do a little prayer as well. That's what we're walking all the way up to and you can see all these people have brought their offerings as well for the ceremony. So apparently the ceremony is a local ceremony and it happens only once a month which is pretty cool that I'm here for the day. Often referred to as Bali's mother temple, Bisaki is a grand complex of different clan temples and shrines. Bisaki is at 1,000 meters above sea level on the southwestern slopes of Mount Agung. Definitely had to come back again and see what this whole view would look like on a clear day, but even so far on a rainy day, it's just magnificent. I'm going to be making an offering and praying soon so I'm not sure what to expect actually uh, but I do have something in mind that I'm going to be sending some wishes to so this is what I have for offering incense everything is this um, flowers? flowers? yeah, yeah. 
Western Bali they call Chanang. Chanang. Yeah. So this is the priest with the incense. Wash, wash your hands. Wash, wash my hands. Okay. This is pretty cool. I have rice on my forehead. <laughs> Definitely something new. Alright, so like always, we're ending the day with some food. So let's get some satay for this pork satay. Finish. Okay. Yeah, this is my satay. So guys. Mm. Mm. So juicy. And the chili with the peanut sauce mixed together is phenomenal. Mm. I'm gonna have like bucket loads of this. Please, somebody make bucket loads of this for me. On my last night in Bali, I made some awesome new friends. We went out to Ubud and found a shack on a dimly lit road for dinner. Yes. Hey. <laughs> okay, so introduce yourselves. <laughs> I'm Tani, I'm from Australia. Nick from the wild Africa. Ooh. <laughs> and so, new friends, and we're gonna enjoy dinner in this cool little nook with cardboard menu. Golden. <laughs> Chicken rice noodle. Chicken rice noodle. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Good. This is really healthy. <laughs> but like, so it's healthy. really nice. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. Both. <laughs> That's it for my Bali adventures. In my next video, I will be exploring another part of Indonesia. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to tune in and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Sending you guys lots of love.